Dashing and daring, courageous and caring, faithful and friendly, with stories to share. All through the forest, they sing out in chorus, marching along as their song fills the air. Gummy bears bouncing here. I know who it is. D1 Chosen. Fin Squad Enforcer here. And, um. <laughs> oh, you gummy bears. You fucking poo bears. <laughs> God damn. Mm, color what? Benny who? Marshall what? Jeffy's who? Y'all motherfuckers, y'all motherfuckers is garbage. I ain't gonna be harsh. There's no reason to be harsh. I'm excited we got the win, which I expected. <laughs> rum, pum, 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 rum, pum, 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 bear down, Judah. Funny in my song, I said we're gonna beat you by at least two touchdowns, and we beat you by 13, which is more than two touchdowns. It's out of 12. But um, it was a good game. We dominated from start to finish. I mean, it, it, man, I expected it to be a game, man. It, we just straight up manhandled them. All this week, talk, hearing about the mismatches of their two, of the Bears two six four receivers and Bennett being six five and a half, facing facing Finn, um, Finnegan and Grimes, who are both five ten. It didn't even fucking matter. How many catches Jeffries had? What? Two? Two catches for five yards? Jeffries? Fucking Marshall had, what, five catches for 48 yards? And he only had nine yards going into halftime. <laughs> you literally were shut the fuck down. My running back rushed for more run. My, my quarterback rushed for more yards than the Bears running back. A straight dominating effort from start to finish. Don't let the little 13 points fool y'all. They had no chance of coming back in this game. Tannehill only had five incompletions. Rushed for 50 yards. Threw for 277 yards. Offense rolling. Like, I'm not even too hyped about this game because I expected this. I honestly expected this shit. I expect that we we will win, but <laughs> I didn't expect for us to blow the doors off these bitches. Off these little gummy bears. Judah, man, told you, man. Jay Cutler got to go, man. Jay Cutler, he, he in the Matthew Stafford League, man. I told you, man. I don't even know why y'all even gave him that big ass contract just to be mediocre. Gave him a hundred million dollar contract to be mediocre. His reputation precedes himself. And he is what he is. I love, I love when you we all know once you get Jay Cutler off his spots making him uncomfortable, he turns into nega cutler. Yes, nega cutler. <laughs> Like, that's the evil Jay Cutler. Just uh, he had two fumbles today. Fumble two times. Interception. Rashard Jones, that's why he's the third best strong safety in the damn league. He was everywhere. Blasting everybody. Like, like this shit was like really this shit was really no contest. No contest. Like y'all motherfuckers just, just should have waved the white flag. Bear down. Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't even know what else to say, man. This is the most lackluster victory lap I've probably ever done. I, I just, I already knew who was going to win this fucking game. Like, I woke up this morning. I was even in the chat room. I woke up this morning. One of my peoples called me. 
So I guess I was dreaming about the Bears game. I, I guess I was literally dreaming about the Bears game. So he, when he calls me, I wake up. And I think it's Monday morning. After after a, a vic, basically victory Monday. When I woke up this morning. And as I was talking to my boy because he wanted to do the breast cancer walk. I figured out like, damn, it's Sunday? Like, damn. Like, that's how I woke up this morning. I woke up. No, we was going to kick some fucking ass. Oh, man. Bears, wow, man. I don't, I heard y'all, I heard Marshall, <laughs> Marshall went off in the locker rooms after the game. <laughs> oh, he mad. He lost his whole team and how he got his ass kicked. Finnegan probably, probably saw the best game I've ever seen of him in a Dolphins, fan, in a Dolphins uniform. His best game yet. He was everywhere. Even got a forced fumble. Jumping out, out leaping all the 6'4 motherfuckers that's out there. Best game yet as a Dolphin. Um, shout outs. King Swag. You called it. Everybody sub him up. King Swag. Um, Lakers Fin Fan 92. Italian Stallion. Austin Thompson. I see you. D nasty, of course. AFC Miami East. And this, this is a victory, an expected victory, a victory lap. Like, I'm sorry if I don't have any type of enthusiasm. I want to at least make my victory lap at least, you know, nice amount. So I talk about the game. I mean, they didn't really do. I, I, what can I say if a team don't do anything? I mean, I can't give like. Who did anything good worth mentioning for the Bears to be keeping funky? Only person, what's his name? Um, Jeremiah, um, Jeremiah Ratliff. He had three and a half sacks. Their team had four sacks, so somebody had half a sack. Other than that, I mean, <laughs> there was toast. It's like these motherfuckers was in hibernation. They didn't want to come. They didn't want to play today. They didn't want to play. And they thought they probably was taking the Dolphins lightly like Judah did. And now it's rum, bum, 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 bear down. Real talk, bro. Real talk. But um, I'm going to end this shit. It's been seven minutes. That's a good victory lap, right? Dolphin Nation. Like King Swag say, fins up, <laughs> bears down. <laughs> this is D1 Chosen, Fin Squad Enforcer. Into my victory lap, Dolphins 27, the Bears 14, and what will be a manhandling of one of the so called top offenses in the league. But y'all know who it is. Oh, Bo. Oh, Bo. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs>